Hello, everyone. This is horror author James Hershey Jr. from the Staring to Abyss radio show. And in this video, I want to bring you an article out of Florida that is really, really inspiring. This is from WPTV.com, which is Channel 5, West Palm Beach in Florida. And the title of the article is A Devastating Fire Burned a Church Down. Not a single Bible was touched by the flames. It was written by Gianluca Mezzofior from CNN. I probably butchered that name. And it was posted on March 5th, 2019. We've seen a lot of these kind of articles over the years of churches burning or something like that and the Bibles coming out unscathed. So let's see how this one turns out. This is a picture of the church that caught fire. It was put up by the Cole City Fire Department on their Facebook page. And here you can see the Bibles from the church are unburnt and the area all around them is burnt. Now I'm sure they weren't sitting on the ground like that. They probably stacked them there for the photograph. But anyway, you can see that the Bibles aren't burnt and the church is. CNN. When firefighters arrived at Freedom Ministries Church in Grandview, West Virginia, they were stunned by what they saw. A devastating fire. So hot that firefighters had to back out at one point. It was ravaging through the building. The Cole City Fire Department said in a Facebook post. But as he went through the charred wreckage, they noticed something extraordinary. In your mind, everything should be burned. Ashes. Not a single Bible was burned and not a single cross was harmed, the department wrote. The Facebook post, which went viral, features compelling photos of a pile of about a dozen intact Bibles surrounded by the rubble. Though the odds were against us, God was not, the firefighters added. No firefighters were injured in the operation. The cause of the fire is still unclear. And that is the end of the article. It was a very short article. First thing is, it's interesting that the fire actually took place in West Virginia. And the article I found on it was from a West Palm Beach, Florida news site. For their like Channel 5 news. That's kind of interesting. I guess it's kind of a cool story. So that's probably why it was picked up. It was picked up by CNN. So that's probably why they carried it. This is a very cool and a very interesting story. I love hearing these kind of stories. And we, like I said in the beginning of the video, we've seen multiple articles like this to where fires break out in churches and places like that, places of worship, and somehow the Bibles aren't burnt. As far as I know, Bibles aren't made of any kind of fireproof material. I mean, they're just books. So they should burn, you would think. I myself wouldn't test the theory. I wouldn't try to set a Bible on fire just to see if it would burn because I'm a Christian, I'm a religious man, I don't think that would be a good idea. And I'm definitely not recommending anybody else do that. But it's very interesting to me how this always seems to happen. I wonder is it that Bibles are simply not flammable, that you just can't burn them? Maybe they're coated in something that causes you not to be able to burn them? I, I seriously doubt that, but that I guess could be one possibility or the other more obvious possibility is they don't burn because God protects them, which is kind of a really awesome thing to think. Now, whether it's true or not, I don't know. But you would think Bibles being books with paper pages would burn, and they would probably burn fairly easily, I would imagine. But they never seem to, and I don't quite understand why. This is a very short video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I kind of like these kind of stories. And let me know down in the comments what you guys think. If you think maybe it's God protecting the Bibles and all these different stories that we've had. Or if it's that the Bibles themselves are made somehow to not burn. And if that is the case, and you know that for fact, let me know down in the comments how they do that. What do they do to make the Bibles not burn? Because that's extremely interesting as well. But either way, let me know what you think. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. If you would like to support the channel, you can visit our merchandise site. Uh, the link to the merch store is down in the description box of the video. So if you want to support the channel, that's a great way to do it. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys. I really do. And until I speak to you again, love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you. And so do I. Bye-bye.